like Mongo Or call me Mizzle Tone Jones on the instrumental We like Jay and Just Jay and Just You other dudes are sorry, we done heard enough Now let me make this clear I'm out the gate to switch the gears Cause of what's happening now and beyond next year We can't debate it cause your skills are unrelated They'll dub me the most loved But also the most hated uh, Cause this is you don't know Because you know the fact I'm track 6 off a classic for one of the greatest rappers This is a brand new chapter Another star arose Now I'm admiring your fall And complimented close For where I'm sitting up the center of this rap game The only difference is I did this shit without a dame Without the puff or a gotti or a Dr. Dre I always needed guidance but learn my own way Cause this is over 10 years, not suddenly And that's lonely when your ego is your company But I rely on me, this young boy's persistent My genius will be alarming, but it's so consistent Mike Mongo, or call me Mizzle Rottweiler Vlogs, episode 131. Mizzle and Mac out here in Dallas, Texas for Friday Night Bites at the Dog Life Facility. This episode is dope because it features a lot of different people. Make sure you like, share, and subscribe. And as always, enjoy the video. My name is Joseph. Uh, it's my wife, Keisha. Uh, it's my dog, uh, Duchess, from Tormer House. And uh, Vin Diesel is part of Arena. Duchess is about 10 months, and uh, Vin Diesel just turned one. Um, and we just got into the Rottweiler uh, probably about... And we have it hadn't even been a year, uh, probably around June. And uh, well, my wife wanted to uh, get a, get one dog, and I ended up getting two important two dogs. At the same time. <laughs> yeah, that's how it always happens, right? <laughs> yeah. And uh, man, they've been amazing, man. It's like my first time ever having a Rottweiler. I, you know, I'd have had pit bulls and whatnot, but this is my first time, and man, they are so intelligent. Uh, just to support them and enjoy, man. Mancho, Max Little Mate Brothers. Um, appreciate everybody coming out to Friday Night Bites. Um, we host Friday Night Bites here just to give people opportunity to actually see working dogs in person. Um, a lot of people, you know, like to watch working dogs, but it's one thing watching it on video versus actually getting the opportunity to see it in person. And I know a lot of people are interested to know if their dog would be a good candidate for, you know, being a working dog or a personal protection dog. So Friday Night Bites gives people the opportunity to see how their dog reacts in a working environment, test out if they actually like to bite, test out their drive. Um, and I, like I said, I appreciate everybody for coming. Um, hope everybody learned, learned something, I learned something. I've always kind of been that type of person where I wanted to you know, always do what I can for people. But at the same time, seeing other Rottweiler owners kind of inspires me, you know? I mean, I own a lot of Rotties. Six, six. I own a lot of Rotties, but you know, seeing other people own Rotties and seeing other people having working dogs or shoulder wing dogs, whatever the case may be, um, that actually makes me want to do more for you know the people around me. And once I make connections with people, I mean, I have it's just great people that just love dogs. We all have a common interest, um, and really just goes from there. Yeah, my name is Raymond. This is Giannis Murray right here. And so um, here lately, I've been following uh, you know, a lot of rock rider owners, and that's how I came across Maurice. So, I mean, we really don't see these type of dogs out on the streets too much. I mean, all I'm really seeing is pit bulls and bullies and Frenchies. So I'm like, man, where are the rock riders at? So when I linked up with him, I, I mean, it was a must. You got to. If you like rock riders, then you got to come by this spot at least once. And once you come through the first time, I'm sure you'll be back. So like I said, I just came out to spectate, but when I seen these dogs going to work, I'm like, man, let me see what my little man will do. He got out there and he did pretty good. The facility, 
facility, I mean, the ownership, and um, the work ethic. I mean, the work ethic pretty much is what brought me in. And also, like I say, the breed of the dog, man, you can't beat a rock robber. This is my second go around with him, so I've been with rock robbers for probably 13 years now. But uh, it's a good environment. I mean, I like it. And so, nice. The dogs look pretty good. And from the looks of it, all these dogs out here help me. I mean, they help me, they're good looking dogs. You know, rock robbers, they gain weight real fast, and a lot of people tend to overfeed them. So moving on down the line, we got my man Desmond, and Desmond came with both of his dogs, and you know they got busy and um, early on in, in, in their bite work uh, training. Correct? Yes. Um, talk to me a little bit about your dogs, and you know how you came across the facility, and what brings you here tonight. Well, actually, I, um, I think it was a few years. I've been knowing uh, my recent dog life for for a while now. We actually from the same from the same uh, town. So I've been doing it for a while and I, I kinda studied different dogs before I had got into the rock 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 rolls. So uh I, the rock rolls obviously one so I you know I've been studying and I hit about this a, a while back about a dog but I, I never came across I never came across to get get a dog from him. So but once I actually got a dog and started paying attention more to his page and other other brief pages I started you know studying more and I love it. Like you know, like I said, I, I ain't never had a rock roller before. And, you know, now I have four of them. So it's nice. A thing, and uh, I love it. This, this is our first time coming to the facility for bike night, but it's actually like the second time coming. I had pits before this. Okay. But, uh, pretty much everything. It took like a, everything. It took like a year and a half for everything that my dog know now. It took like my pit like a year and a half to learn. So mm. the dogs catch on real easy. Uh, just, just love them. They're real smart, catch on, catch on very, very fast. And I love it actually. I grew up with Rottweilers, and so um, quarantine actually, when we went on quarantine from COVID 19, I decided to get a dog. We were all home bored, so I decided to get a dog. So um, I was looking at Cane Corsos originally, and then I switched over to Rottweilers and started looking at Rottweilers. And then we got Cree um, from a couple of Ennis. We brought him home. Um, he's been good. Um, it's been a good experience so far. I was a little scared at first because I have a two-year-old and just, you know, with the rumors and everything about Rottweiler's people's being aggressive. But he's the most gentle with my two. She's three years old now. She's two when we got her. But he's been good. The first couple of weeks was just, like I said, with the kids, especially my two-year-old. It's like having a, two, a toddler and a ter two terrible twos. A toddler in the house and then him in the house. So that was the my thoughts every day for the first couple of weeks. Just getting adjusted to a puppy and still having, like I said, a toddler in the house. Nice. And you and your family started working on the training together with Creed, or mm -hmm. did he, he do actually it? started a, a few months ago. He started getting so big. And my daddy actually suggested like obedience training and stuff like that. Um, I met Maurice as, like on social media, like pretty much everybody else, and we kind of connected. And this is our second time coming to her Friday Night Bite. Yeah, you can get in contact with us on Instagram at DFW underscore dog life. DFW underscore dog life, but the dog is D-A-W-G and then life, L-I-F-E. And I know the dogs see you because they want to bite you. <laughs> <laughs> You don't want your dog to be just nibbling on them and coming on and off the bike. No, you want the dog to hit, hold, and, and stay onto the bike. And that's what I'm teaching. That's what I'm introducing the dogs to. 
So when I'm using a little rag, I'm just getting the dog to you know, want to chase something, want to put his mouth on something. Some dogs tonight, they were they were new to this. So they didn't really know what it was until they figured out, oh, okay, I'm supposed to put my mouth on it. And, and there's some dogs that were advanced and they already knew, okay, I'm supposed to bite this as hard as I can. And it's just a process with each dog. You gotta build the dog up. And I mean, that's, that's, that's really it when it comes to, to bite work. Instagram is Shep Dog K9. S H E P D A W G K9. Shep Dog K9. Thank you. And I appreciate you guys taking the time. You guys definitely represented for the Dallas area. And um, we'll see this on YouTube.